Spanish bacalao is a dish that Mexicans inherited centuries ago, but Mexico has found a way to put a stamp on it. This is salted and dehydrated bacalao. The thing is, when the Spanish got to Mexico, they loved this ingredient so much. They had to put it in their big galleons and they had to travel for months until they got to Mexico. And this was a way they used to preserve the fish so that it could last a long time without refrigeration. And even though we have refrigeration, we love what it does to the fish because aside from preserving it, it completely transforms the ingredient. It makes it compact, very flaky, and it gives the fish a woody and smoky flavor. So when you're gonna make bacalao, which you are going to wanna make bacalao, you need to soak your fish 48 hours ahead of time. So say you wanna make it Sunday, Friday, you soak your fish, you completely cover it in water, and then for two days, you're going to drain and soak, whenever you remember, until the fish is desalted and rehydrated, and then it looks like this. It has a very strong fishy smell, but it is very good. And you just need to shred it. I'm turning my heat on over medium heat. I'm going to add my olive oil, and then I'm gonna cut one onion and I'm gonna sliver it. You know, Mexico and Spain go a long way back. You know the story, Spanish conquered Mexico and then Mexico fought really hard for independence and today, Spain and Mexico shall meet again. So I'm going to cook the onion until it is very soft. Then I have my five garlic cloves. I'm gonna wait a little bit to add them, but I'm gonna chop my tomatoes. Think about how the world started connecting through food. So the Spanish conquered Mexico, they brought the bacalao, they brought the onion, they brought the garlic, and at the same time, they took tomatoes to the old world. There were no tomatoes in Europe before then. What would pizza, what would pasta, what would Italy be without tomato? So I'm throwing the garlic in there, throwing the tomatoes. I want the tomatoes to cook until they are pasty, mushy, and they're breaking apart. Now I'm gonna add the roasted red bell peppers, which you can buy at the store, already roasted and peeled. And I'm just dicing. They're gonna go in there. Gonna mix that up, and then I'm gonna cook my potatoes. Boil a pound of peeled and half baby potatoes in salted water. Then back into my saucepan, I add one third cup of slivered almonds, a dozen or so sliced pimento olives, two teaspoons of white distilled vinegar, and about a quarter cup of chopped fresh parsley. Okay, so I'm adding the bacalao in here. I'm gonna mix really well so that all of these flavors start marrying in there. My potatoes have been cooking in boiling water for about 10 minutes and they're ready to be added to the bacalao. And the last thing I'm gonna add are the pickled pepperoncini peppers. Then you can add as many as you like. I like to, of course, add a lot. You wanna add them in the last stage of cooking so that they won't completely come apart, but they will have a chance to infuse some of their flavor and brine into the dish. Now I'm gonna let it cook for about five more minutes so that it all really comes together. 